Cheese. <laughs> I put, put your right hand on the box too. Oh. No, no, the, the, at the bottom where, the bottom where, bottom of the box. Got it. Okay, ready? One, two, three. Cheese. Set and go. Hello, Vlogineers. Today we're going to unbox Green Kids. Uh, Green Kids. Crap. This is a must. Kid, singular. This is a monthly subscription that. What? This is a. And go. Hello, Blockineers. Today we're going to unbox Green Kid Crafts. This is a monthly subscription that features eco friendly, sustainable crafts for kids. We're going to try this. Hello, Blockineers. Today we're going to unbox Green Kids Crafts. This is a monthly subscription that features eco friendly, sustainable crafts for kids. You can order this at the link in the description. Okay, so there is a green kid booklet. Let's see what's inside. Okay. Okay, so in this box there are four projects. Okay, so there's a teal kit, a crystal. Okay, so in this box there are four projects. The first is the geo kit. The second is a crystal growing kit. The third is a erupting volcano, and finally a volcanic eruption art. Okay, uh, introduction to volcanoes, crystals, and gems which is basically what this thing, oh. Next is an introduction to volcanoes, crystals, and gems, which is probably the theme of this box. And then after that, there's four pages on each of the four, oh. and after that, there's a page on each of the project. Uh, they tell you what is included in the box, what you'll need from home and the instructions. Okay. Next is let's see. Okay. Activities. <clears throat> okay, so the first activity is hidden pictures. There's also a maze. And mm, oh, and then Finally, there's bonus do-it-yourself projects, such as a globe orange and Oreo tectonics on this page. And on the last page, there's a work career idea, which is to become a volcanoologist. Mm -hmm. And uh, they give you two book suggestions to read. The first is My Mouth is a Volcano, and the second is Everything Volcanoes and Earthquakes. Okay, so it's basically yes. just volcanoes. Yeah, so it looks like the theme of this box is volcanoes, and maybe crystals too. Okay, and now let's see what's in here. Wait, what does it say? This sticker says... Reusable? Oh, yeah. Oh. So the bag says that it's reusable and recyclable. This bag is made from 100% recycled material, which is cool. And again, this is Green Kids Crafts, so everything is made of green products. Okay, this bag uh, has a sticker that says Erupting Volcano, and inside it looks like, oh, there's model magic, um, a little plastic Tin. So it's probably full of volcanoes. Some rock things and baking soda. Okay. And then this bag says geodes. So as you can see, there are two many geodes here. There's also s some other things in this bag, such as pipe cleaners, a marble, and borax. Okay. So there's two bags. And then finally, there are two pieces of construction paper. Black. Two. 
So that is Green Kids Crafts, and now we're going to do the four projects. And go. We're going to start with project one, the geode. So what is included already are geodes. As I said before, there are two of them in there. And what we need from home is a small hammer. Oh, huh, shall I? Ready, set, and go. Project one is cracking open geodes. Okay, so what's included in the box for this project are geodes. And what we need from home is a small hammer. Obviously, this is not a small one, but it will do. Uh, an old sock. And an, something that's optional is a magnifying glass, but we don't have one at home, so it's fine. Okay, and now we're, go oh, wait. we're going to be cracking open the geodes outside. Wait, why are we oh, doing yeah. it outside? So we won't bang on the table. Okay. So is there anything else we need to read before we go outside? Some booklets? Oh, maybe things to think about on the bottom? What was that about? Geodes are rocks that are plain on the outside but can have beautiful crystals. Oh yeah, you may, you may say that first. Okay. Right. Is it recording? Yeah. At the bottom of every experiment, there's a box that says things to think about. So I'm going to read that. Geodes are rocks that are plain on the outside but can have beautiful crystals on the inside. They can be a couple of inches or several feet in size. Geodes are created in the hollow areas of soil such as animal burrows and tree roots. They are also formed in the bubbles of volcanic rock. Over time, dissolved minerals seep into a hollow area and harden into an outer shell creating the geode. The minerals continue to form on the inside walls of the shell growing towards the center. The most common dissolved mineral is quartz. So these are probably going to be quartz geodes. All right, and now we're going to crack the geodes outside. Okay, we're going to head outside to crack open the geodes. <laughs> is this the smallest hammer there is? Set and go. have our two geodes on the ground, our, uh, what do you call this? Experiment book? Rule book? No. Instruction book. So now we're outside. Oh, wait. One second. So now we're outside. We have our instruction book here, and there's three steps for cracking open the geo. And we also have safety goggles, which are not mentioned on here, but we thought a little extra protection doesn't so, ready? Uh, step one, put a geode in a sock. The sock this will help prevent rock fragments from flying around. Okay, a sock that doesn't fit me anymore. I have There. One geode in a sock. Okay, we should put it kind of in the middle. All right, there we go. One geode in an old sock. It's not Step old. two, put the geode on a hard concrete surface. Okay, we have a hard concrete surface here. Hit the geode filled sock gently with the hammer until it slits open. If you hit too hard, you may end up with lots of little pieces. So starting with gentle hits is best. Okay? Okay. So this sock oh, is. Um... The book, what book, hold the book. Oh, here. You can close it, yeah. This sock is not old, but it doesn't fit me. Okay. Uh-huh. So start with gentle. All right. All right. Uh-huh. So they said start with gentle hits. Okay. I don't copy gentle. That'll do. It isn't doing anything. My sock is getting banged up, that's why. Do you want to open and check? Okay, let's see. No progress so far. That's okay. Let's keep going. Watch out.
So as you can see, Brother Small Sock is getting beat up. Uh, oops. Well, the sock doesn't fit me, so it's perfectly fine. It only goes like up to over here. And it's dead. It <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> oh, I need to stand up real quick, my legs. <sighs> okay, so, so far, no progress. I'm just afraid of hitting it too hard and... Okay, ready? Kneel back down. Well, is that the whole instruction? Have it, has it slid open? Mm, no. Really want to check? Can't really feel it. Can you check? Let's see. No progress. Oh, uh, there's a little hole. A little crack? A little hole. I mean, a little dent. So hopefully with the dent, there's a little dent. But when I guess we're getting there. Let me see if I Watch can out. find let me read. Uh, Bubu, pull the book away. You'll need to read it now. No reading. It won't look good. Alright. Just hold on to the book. So it's on the floor. Okay. Alright. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Okay. Ah! Almost got the ground. Come on. Okay, so that is our first cracked geode. I think we could have cracked it a bit better because usually geodes are not cracked into three. Also, uh, there seems to be quite some pieces of rock that and also that there's no crumbled away. And also, there's no spiky thing. But here, what's the most pretty one? I'll hold it towards the camera. Maybe this? No. But yeah. Alright, tell us first, yeah. show. What do I say? Tell us. Show, show a piece. Okay. So this is probably our prettiest piece of the three pieces. Uh, so as you can see, what did they say? It's probably quartz crystal. There's a bit of pink. There's also black and white. And it looks like this. Uh, uh, can I move so I can focus on it? I look at the camera. Why are you holding? Recording. I go. So again, usually I don't think that geodes are supposed to be cracked into three. 
Then again, we cracked it with a hammer and not some professional geocutting equipment. So I guess that's not bad. Also, Brother Suck didn't get damaged too much yet. No. Yeah, but it got damaged over That's fine. There. It's too small anyways. Yeah, it is small. Alright, and so you know, so you now it's my turn? And now it's my turn Hold to on, craft. You have to put oh, it in the middle. Alright, and, and go. And now it's my turn to craft the G. Hold on. Let me find a good place to and I'll make sure. Watch out, it's pokey over there. Right, no, 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 don't put your hand there. Don't, don't put, put your hand, hand there. there. Gently, remember. Gent don't put your hand nearby. You can't, you're not even cracking. Oh, good. Keep going. Check on it. No, no, no. Just see if it's in. Okay, you haven't done anything. Okay. Keep okay, going. I see a little crack. There's a line that might be from. So keep cracking. Alright, we're gonna sit, 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 sit back there. No, I can't deal with it. Oh, alright. Alright, a little bit harder. A bit harder. Hold on, hold on, oh, on check on. it. Wait, you're getting no least. I know, it felt it. Too much of a hassle. Just you can feel it. Okay. Okay, take it out. So, first set it down gently. Watch out, it's pokey. That part no. of the hand is pokey. Okay. Still no. Okay, so keep cracking in the same place that you were cracking. No, that's not where it was. It was. This is the dead. So now it's cracking. Oh, okay. Isn't it better to crack here? Oh, over here. That's where I was cracking. Okay, use a little bit more strength. A little bit harder. Still. Okay. Ooh, I heard this. I'm in the sun. Just a bunch of bits. Still not getting here. And go. Oh, it cracked. Oh, wow. Whoa, pretty here. Even 
even prettier. Yep, I chose the right geo. So, brother's geo is prettier than mine because it has a crystal. Uh huh, clear? Uh huh. Uh, look at the camera while you're holding it. Pull it closer. Uh, Wait, how do I do this? Focus on that. Now, me, now. Okay. Uh, how, can you get back to your original position so we don't see the hose in the back? difference between brother's shield and mine or maybe the way we cracked it because this is brother's and this is mine so obviously mine oh, I should put it on my side mine is a lot uglier than brother's I don't know no because that means brother's is ugly huh that means brother's is ugly yours is uh, uglier right oh so this is, yeah okay yeah okay let's do that again. my side is pretty as well yeah so as you can see, there's a considerable difference between my shield and brother's shield. Brother's is really pretty and mine is not so much. Uh, I don't know if it has to do with just the type of geo or maybe because we cracked this one so badly. I don't know. So that is the end of our geo cracking. My prettiest piece is probably this little one. Which or maybe even this. Like this. I got a black geode. Uh, do you want to keep this so I can no, keep no. this out? It's fine. Okay, now we're going to go back inside to do our second project, which is... I think crystal growing. Oh yeah, crystal growing. That's registration. And go. The next... The next activity is the crystal growing kit. So what we get is pipe cleaner, yarn, borax powder, and a round stick. We And what's needed from home is a glass jar, one cup of water, a spoon, pan, stove, a magnifying glass is optional, but again, we don't have it and food coloring, which we do have. And that's also optional, but we choose to use food coloring. Step one, make a shape out of your pipe cleaner. You can twist it and or cut it with scissors to make a star, loose coil, or even the first letter of your name. And what's gonna happen is it's gonna dangle in the jar. So what shape do you want? Uh, I don't know. Wait, so we're using both. Wait, this string. It's just that. Hmm? Okay, this is our only pipe cleaner? Yeah. The, the... Yeah, you can make anything with this pipe cleaner. Mm. So... Triangle? Circle? Hmm? Triangle, maybe? It's gonna be a crystal, so what shape? Triangle, then. Triangle? That's it? I don't know. Okay. We can make a triangle, I guess. Is it a star shape? Oh, yeah. Actually, we're going to try to make a star shape, maybe. But they said because, to cut it. But a star shape will look star. better than a triangle, I think. Yeah, so, but the star shape, they We said don't need to, to cut, cut it. it. We don't need to or cut it. Or else it won't look as pretty. It'll no, just no, look no. like some silly star thingy. Exactly. I don't like silly star thingy thing. Okay, if you want. <laughs> Don't get poked by the pipe cleaner like last time. Don't that worry. I rarely get poked by pipe cleaner. Oh, <laughs> you got poked on our last project with pipe cleaner. Okay. I just. I think Stop I rambling on and on. Uh, let's see. Got it. 
I'm just trying to make a star shape. Okay, but I'm telling you, Shh. it's not gonna work. <laughs> Stop laughing at the camera like I'm a maniac. <laughs> it will work. It will. I'm telling you, it won't work. I'm telling you. I'm telling you to just be quiet. If you need. Hush. Oh, this is not going in the video, but no, he's just discouraging me. He's not giving me any helpful words. He's huh? just saying it's not going to work. It's not going to work. Be positive. Would I be encouraging? You're not even yeah, doing it. Yeah, turned out good. Good. That looks like a bunk. Exactly. See, I don't know how to make a star. This is just hard. Because I don't know how long each side has to be. I just kind of have to guess, and I'll be wrong. Pretty long. It's not just a point. It has to be like a centimeter long. Which is pretty big. A centimeter is not pretty big. A centimeter is like this. I know. That's pretty big for star thingy. The only one would be called black. Black pipe? I don't know. Pipe cleaner? Mm -hmm. Yes, thank you. Almost there. Okay. It still looks like a butt. Oh, while you fill that one, just say, in the meantime, we're gonna uh, heat the water. We'll boil the water. And then I can take the water again. Oh, okay. In the meantime, while I'm trying to shape this star, we're going to heat the water up. Boil the water. Oh, yeah. In the meantime, while I'm trying to shape this star, we're going to boil the water. Can we make the thingy into a bow? Just a bow shape? Since you already know how to do that, since you just did it. I don't know how to do it. It's just a flat bottom to this, that, with that stripey thingy. The tall thingy with the sail. That's it. It's basically just triangles. Okay, so while I'm making the star, brother's going to discourage me and tell me how to make a boat. Well, I thought you were making the star. I am. And plus, I don't know if the camera's recording. Alright, so later on, when we water over, be super careful, okay? Because it's going to be boiling hot. Can I just do the wax? There's no wax cleaner, no way. Or pipe cleaner to try making a boat. You gonna make a boat instead? It's fine. I don't want to make a boat. I'm fine with the boat as long as it's nice and good and easy. Yeah, that's fine. Stars, You're a cow. But stories oh, are easy and also they
they don't look good at all. There's just one left of pipe I also wax clean. I like wax. Thank you for this helpful work. Well, it didn't help you because you're still making a starter. I am. Just make a boat. I'm already on. Or we would have been done like five minutes ago. Yep, we would have. Come yeah. on, just make a boat. Nah, it's fine. We are going to make a starter. Don't you worry. It's going to take forever. Don't you worry. Hurry, you break the worry. Time. Just make Be us Be happy. A, Don't worry. A boat. Be happy. Just stop wasting my time. Don't or else I'm going to be with happy. Mama right now. I wanted to be with Mama right now, but instead I have to do this. Okay, little girl. And now girl. you're wasting my time. I am. It's not making a boat. I was Hurry. told to make this stuff. Good idea. To when you record again. Very good I'm idea. Good luck with him. Okay. No, wait. All your. Right. Is the shape almost done? Yeah. Right. As good as you can be, right? And then, uh, no, it's just discouraging me. Right. Boo, come back. Hurry. Hurry. I'm, I'm going to continue recording. See? Okay, here we go. We finished our star. It took a while to make with just the wax yarn. Uh, but we it's did. not wax. Oh, yeah. We finished our star. It took a while to make with the pipe cleaner. But we did do it in the end. And here's the yarn that's tied to the round stick. When we put it in... Oh. It was fine. But... It was fine. Oh, anyway. Maybe you have to tie it know, a bit. All right, but I just say that now we're going to pour water in. And right. we can do that. And go. And now we're going to pour water in. In the jar. Oh, okay. And now we're going to pour the hot water in the jar. Okay, and pour the jar. And go. Okay. So here is the hot water that came straight out of the stove. We added some food coloring to it, so now it's turned black. Uh, okay, let let me reread. Okay, we've done steps one, which is to make the shape, and two, which is to tie it to this round stick. Don't hold it. Just don't hold it. You're gonna loosen it. Okay. Just leave it. All right, all right. We hold it properly. Yeah. Okay. We've already finished steps one and two. One was to make the shape with the pipe cleaner, and two was to tie it to this round stick. And now step three is to boil one cup of water and then to add the borax powder and stir until dissolved. You want to do some, brother? Sure. Be very careful. But don't blame me if I spill Okay, so we've added all the borax powder. Now I'm going to stir with a stick to mix it all in. Well, I see the powder. Mm -hmm. So all the powder has gathered on the bottom. We're just going to dissolve it. 
Here you go, brother. Be sure not to splash. Okay, so I'm gonna reread step three. Boil one cup of water, remove from the stove, add the borax powder and stir until dissolved, and then add the food coloring, which we already did. Pour the entire mixture into your jar. And then finally, suspend your pipe cleaner in the jar by resting the stick on the mouth of the jar. Okay, there we go, that should do. There's a lot on this. Looks like I read a thing nothing about like food coloring first. Why? It's hard to tell, right? Yeah, it's about that. Uh, do you see any more palette? I think it's all gone. For the last You have to do the edges. So it's going to become a black crystal. Yeah. Well, this food coloring looks black. purple, right? Oh, is it? It's the same old use for the volcano, so it's purple. It looks black. Okay, is all done? Mm -hmm. Alright, ready? Okay. Alright, now suspend your pipe cleaner in the jar by resting the stick on the mouth of the jar. So, we have our pipe cleaner star, stick, and goes in. There we go. Oh, but the top of the star kind of sticks up. Oh, that's fine. Okay. Now. Hey, don't drop the thing. It's better to pick I up know. on the bottom. Okay. Hopefully, it didn't touch the bottom of the jar. We can't be completely sure, but whatever. I would choose white food coloring. If if you wanted white food coloring, you just don't have to add any food color. All right, so we have done the crystal growing, and now we have to wait for up to 24 hours for it to fully grow. I'll set a timer. No, you don't need to set a timer. Or I could just uh, wait until it says yep. 24 hours. Okay. And say, uh, and say we'll check back tomorrow to see how it is. We'll check back tomorrow to see a fully grown crystal. And now we're on to the yeah. next experiment or project okay. or activity. Oh wait, things to oh, think sure. about. Okay, so finally I'm going to read the bottom, things to think about. When you mix the borax with the water, you created a suspension. A suspension is a mixture that contains solid particles large enough to settle out. As the borax settles out, it begins to crystallize on top of the pipe cleaner and the yarn too. This same process happens with different minerals as hot magma cool. Oh, I still see some borax. So basically the borax is sticking to our pipe cleaner and along with the food coloring, which is supposed to be purple food coloring, but it looks black here. Uh, along with the food coloring, it's going to create purple crystals. Okay. Or black, I'm not what? sure. I think purple. Oops. Uh, so tomorrow, do we just take it out or do we dump out the water? Does it say how to do it tomorrow? It doesn't say anything. Probably okay. dump out the water. I okay. Think. So let's yeah. say, oh, we'll check back tomorrow. We said that already, right? I think we'll so, but I'll tomorrow. just say okay. it. Okay, and, and now we're moving on to the next project. All right, go. We'll check back tomorrow in 24 hours, and now we're going to move on to our third project, Erupting Volcano. And go. It's time for project three, Erupting Volcano. What's included in the box is clay, baking soda, lava rocks, lava rocks, a lot of carry. Bottle, bottle. Put it down. Here, bottle. No, that's not a bottle. I mean, bottle, there, bottle, bottle, and a food coloring tablet. Okay, and what we need from home is one cup of vinegar, 
uh, we don't have it yet. A baking dish, which is basically this, and it will be used to contain the eruption. A rolling pin, which is optional. A funnel, which is optional. And dish soap, which is optional. And we're gonna be using the funnel. Yeah, we might use the dish soap, I don't know. Step one, decide what type of volcano to create. There are three major types of volcanoes. Composite, cinder, cone, and shield. So, no, it's cinder cone. And they show you what the volcanoes look like. But we're, pro oh yeah, cinder cone. Not c cinder and cone are not two different things. It's a cinder cone. And that's the type of volcano we'll be making, which looks No, like I this. wanted the pointy one. Well, if we do this, then we can easily pour it inside. If we do a cinder cone. The shield is too flat and the composite one's pointy. So even if we make a composite volcano, we'll still have to put a hole in the middle and that'll just be weird. So we're gonna do a cinder cone. Oh, why don't you just have to do the very top one with a hole? That's fine. Like, so, but you can but it'll be harder to pour. Can I open we'll, this? We'll have fun now. Can I open this yeah. to make it? Oh, uh, okay. Actually, I think we could try making a composite because yeah, we can just make a hole in the middle. Is that what you want, brother? Yeah, okay. Let's open this. I want to make model this. magic. From Crayola. My favorite brand of Crayola. Okay, it looks like we got red model magic. My favorite color of all times. It's sticky to here. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, I guess it makes sense. Red clay for a volcano, yeah. Or, or even brown. Here we go. Okay. So we're going to make a volcano. Oh, so first punch down the clay. No, 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 punch down the clay. Don't roll it, you have it's to punch it down. It's kind of good. I don't think. Punch down the clay. I don't want to punch. No, 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 not too much. Oh, or you could roll it like this, okay? No, 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 that's not gonna help. Just roll it. Like, kind of like, imagine that your hand is a rolling pin. Not gonna help. Are you sure that's how you do it? Usually yeah. I just- This is in place of a rolling pin. Okay. Usually, I just do it by hand. That's the best idea. Here and also, you need to make it kind of even. Oh, I got an idea. Make it into a bowl and then smash it down no. to make a circle. This is good enough. Here we go. See? Wait, no. There, there isn't supposed to be these. So, this feels a bit more like clay than Play-Doh. But, yeah. Okay, and then now we're going to wrap and mold it over the bottle. This is our bottle. Okay. All right, and we wrap and mold it. You want to make a composite mm -hmm. volcano? So do it. So I guess we just have to just wrap it around. Remember, a composite volcano is pointy. You know what? I don't think we did it enough. Pointy. Yeah, that's what I just said to roll it into the bowl, smash it down, and then bam, it's easy. No, we don't want to roll it again. Oops. <laughs> yeah, there. Ugh. Roll it into a bowl, smash it down. Best idea. No, it was already kind of in a bowl. Bowl. Alright. Still doesn't work. I guess we'll have to do Brother's idea since I already kind of ruined the model magic. Let's do it again. Roll it into a ball. And I down the pan. And smash now it. punch it down or smash punch with your paw. Yep, we're doing it. Okay.
Okay, so an advice if you make this erupting volcano, do what brother said, roll it into a ball and then smash it down. Then it'll make a pretty good oval or circle shape. Okay. Okay. Interesting. Okay, here we go. Take number two. Take two. It's not take number two, it's take two. Okay, either way. Either way does. Okay. Okay, this volcano is getting a bit clumsy. It is. <laughs> uh, I think dough could be a bit stronger. I guess we just need to make it into like a flower planet kind of shape. <laughs> <laughs> oh wait, hold on. Um, let's see. Let's do it. Oh no. Yeah, we need a flower kind of shape present thing. Stop. Okay. Okay. Let's do it. Okay. Hmm. Looks like my hand. Relocating the clay. Oh yeah. No, don't make it into a, a thingy. You just need to make circle. Hold on. Hold on. Yeah, you just need flower petal thingies. The plus sign or the X. Whatever you like to call it. And the reason why is because... Then you don't have to draw over it. Yes. So we made it into kind of like a plus so, or a ghost shape. Or an X. If you like to call it that. So then it can easily get nice and thick, kind of. And we can put it into the little... Yeah, because thing. as you can see, this when it folds up, it becomes a triangle. I think we almost did it. Now we just need to close up the sides. Close up the sides. Now we need to make it a bit prettier on the top. Yeah, at the bottom needs to be a bit wider. It needs to be a circle, not a square. More like a circle thing. This ball, that's the problem. This is this ball. Hmm. Oh, here's not close up the cat. Uh oh. <laughs> this looks so bad. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Hold on. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. We made our base. Rule number one. Rule number one, just be quiet so I can concentrate. Yeah. Um, what I thought I'd do to you. Okay, wait, hold on. This is this is actually harder than making the star from the from the pipe cleaner. Yeah, but this one looks uglier than the star on my first try. Hmm. Way way ugly. Okay. I guess I'm not really sure. Let's, think Let's redo it. Take we we three. need to kind of make we need to make the shape of a coat a round coat. So let's try making the shape of a round coat. Okay, hold on. Okay, so I'm not doing my. Ooh, this point is. Yeah, I do think we need to make the dough wider and thicker. Like, this is good. This one's good. But it's just the other ones are okay. They are too thick. Oh, no. That one's good. These two are okay. 
Okay, so we're back to where we started because we kind of messed up. Uh, I don't think they gave us too much dough. No, 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 this is enough dough. We just need to figure out how. Uh, do you want to make the outside the circle first? I wish we... Oh, this. Perfect. No, no. Maybe we can make the circle for the bottom, kind of. Yeah, this will be a perfect make dough maker or whatever you call it. Let's just use this. Another suggestion. Kinda if we do. Hmm. Okay, so I'm telling you we should use this to make the circle. So since the circle is big enough and It makes the circle. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> What's so funny? <laughs> What's so funny? <laughs> My last reason. <laughs> For the volcano thing. This thing. Come on, just use it. Put the bottle in, I mean, put the dough, roll it down with your hand, roll it, first roll the dough with your hand into a ball, then you smash it down, use this to make the bottom of the volcano, and then we have leftover dough to make the dough, I mean, Thank you for your plant. words of wisdom. I'm telling you, this thing makes yeah, I know. We need to use I this. know. No, no, we don't. It's just, this is kind of Oh, yeah. We, tricky. We put a hole on the top. Hmm? We put a hole on yeah. the top. Yeah. Well, you want a composite volcano. Yeah. So I'm going to make a composite volcano, which is a bit harder than a cinder cone volcano. No, it's about the same. We both do circle. But one, you need to make it pointy while also making it, look, this, this just ain't. Fine, we can make the cinder cone, but it's gonna be the same. The same, the same. Both no, I'm making a composite volcano because you already told me to. Yeah, but they're both the so. same because for the composite, you also need a hole and same with the cinder cone. You also, a hole. Yeah, but in this in, in the, the composite one, I need to make a triangle before the hole. No, it's a circle shaped triangle thing. Volcanoes are circle, not not triangle. Okay, I'm just gonna make a, a cinder cone volcano because it, it seems way easier at the moment. Oh, then you have to make a lump and a and a hole and a lump. You have to make a circle. I did it. See? Now I just need to make the bottom a bit better. No, not really. It's if you look at the picture, it's like a lump and then a hole and then a, a teeny. I don't care about the picture. Okay. I don't like the size of the bottle. It's so big. And also the dough, they don't get as much dough. Look, we'll put a circle thing away. I don't know. Nolly was when you were upstairs. Nolly kept telling me to use that. It doesn't even. Okay, I don't know how to make this. I kind of made the top. I gave up doing the triangle. Let's see if we can do the base. Okay, after I get rid of the base. 
Yeah, that's why we did that. That doesn't no, help. No, it was almost done. Why are you destroying it? Because it didn't... It, no, no, no. Just because take the, the remainder thing and patch it up. I didn't have any remainder thing. No? No? On the right? Everybody no. Yeah. I didn't have a remainder thing. Right. Everything that you right. saw, right. I took right. apart. Right here. Here. Right. So, you're, so you're gonna fix the retainer. So basically, you just need to make it go like that. Then it'll look good. Mm. Ooh, that's great. Okay. Oh, I know. So first, first I need to wrap around. Uh, need to keep wrapping around. Hold on. Hey, okay, I I just thought. Where did it go wrong? Well. Oh, no, no, no. You have to make sure that it goes like that. Oh, but you just need to stretch it. Stretchy dough. But I'm not even ready. I was already telling you. First, you have to make the bottom. There. No, the bottom doesn't matter. Why is it so Hmm. Here. Stop ruining my dough. It's like you're acting like it, this is all yours. Oh, I'm not. I'm not trying to ruin your dough, okay? Will you ruin this? That's because we're not on that step yet. There's no steps. We just need to make. I know. That's that. Exactly. There's no steps. Just need to make it. And I already made it nice and fast. Yes, you were doing a good job. I and just... then you ruined it. Yep. Sorry about that. Yeah, right. Sorry, but no. This one you don't ruin. so much dough on the bottom. The bottom doesn't matter. You can take some away from the bottom edge. Because I was just making the bottom for this stuff. And it, now it's so thick. But all this is extra dough, see, that you can use to stretch out. I'll need a quarter of this because I didn't make this into a ball. And hmm. Yeah, I did it. Guess what? I did. Perfect old. Right, in the meantime, put, put a knee to prepare vinegar. vinegar. One cup of vinegar, but keep it away from us because I don't like that smell. Okay. And vinegar is in the food closet? Okay, or? please. What? I'm trying to help. Just a regular. I made oh, good. a perfect circle. Good one. Now so we can stretch it over to this one. Where's that? Oh, most of the stuff. I can put this or to bigger dough. Just two blobs of little things like that turned into this. To patch it up over here. Okay, we we spent too much clay on this side. Let's see. Give me some clay. I can huh. turn it into circles. That can help. Here. Good. 
The one cup, right? Um, yeah. See, this just plop of dough into bigger dough. Now we just need to stretch it out again. Perfect. Hold on, who put dough all over the sides? Not me. Whoever put dough all over the sides, you're wasting dough. That was you. I was telling you not to go ahead. Well, you've been putting it all by your own, so it's probably you. No, I was telling you not to go ahead. Hopefully the apple cider will make it all work the same. Here. There. I think apple cider vinegar is the most common one, right? Is it? Okay. I don't have the cream Here, I made this for you. Horrible cake. I need this. Last. Okay. Right. So finish this and find I know I was trying to, but then Noli went ahead while I was trying to fix it up. And he messed up, and I have to. Do no, it. I didn't. Do what the fuck? Right. I should have done. Right. Well, that's do we need? Let's get ready. Yeah. Oh. Uh, did you get the funnel? Yeah. Should be on the table. Yes. Uh. Dish soap, optional, to make bubbles. Yeah. In what format? For the eruption. No, I mean Oops. dish soap. Dish soap. Like where the pot will uh, put the dish soap in. Um, I don't know. You can. Okay. Thank you. Can you make some more of these? If you want, you could stretch it. I need some, I need it thick so you can stretch it out. We only have one more, and then we ran out of dough. Try to make this one a bit bigger. <laughs> Great. Flexible. Oh, good. We're almost there. I think, uh, is there any leftover dough that I can use? Just a bit more to help. Here. Great. I made it a bit thick. Mm -hmm. And I can make something with just this. It'll be pretty big. But not too thick. So, here we go. Turn and turn. This. Did we do it? Uh, I see some leftover dough up here. Big left. Looks kind of not natural. Oh, over here. A uh, whole. Oh. Uh, can you make the top a bit more round? Uh, 
uh, one thing here. It was a big one. Yeah. Good job, Nolan. I did it. Just roll stuff into the ball, smash it down, and stretch it out. That's all I needed to do. Uh, yeah. And then I give him the dough, stretches it out, I mean, he stretches it out, put it on. Huh. And then, ta -da, the volcano's Oh, that looks good. Yeah, with a bit of my help. Yep. Wow. It still doesn't look like a natural volcano. It looks yeah. like a volcano, but not natural. It's pretty dumb. It's stickier. Or dolly. Well, that's fine. Don't, don't mess it up. It's fine if he moves it. It's pretty easy for me to do the whole process again. Right, and it will be even prettier this time if he messes it up. If he messes it up. But I hope he doesn't. Even if right, he doesn't, it will be pretty. I'm just trying to make it back into a volcano shape. A good job. I know, but I guess to look Let's see a volcano. Okay, still doesn't look like it. Still looks like a volcano. Almost there. Is it recording? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. You need to do the whole process over? No, yeah. I can do it again. That would be a waste of time. Oh, uh, yeah. No, this, this part's too inside. Or too pushy. Volcano gonna react now. Oh, wait, now. Okay, when's now? <laughs> Alright, there we go. Woohoo, our volcano can be built now. Oh. And we're gonna put a center on the table. <gasps> we did. Put a center on the table. Uh oh, a bit hole. Red doesn't matter. You still see red. So, since they don't see it, it's fine. Okay, ready? It's a shot. We have finally made our volcano. It looks pretty good. With both the our And now we're going to decorate it with lava rocks. Can I decorate some? How many lava rocks? All of them. No, how many lava rocks? You do all we of them. We can split them. Cool, thanks. Just make sure not to ruin the volcano. Oh, it, there's a bit of a hole for it. Okay. Because that was the thing. Mostly decorate it on this side. But you can do some back here too. Huh? Yay, that was the lemon. What's that? The lava one. What? No. What's that? I know what it is. What? He didn't actually eat the lava rock. <laughs> it's that sour thingy that he's been talking about to me. Oh, we can put some on the sides. Here. No, no, no. Usually rocks aren't up here. <laughs> no lava rocks are all around lava. Oh, but on the picture they just put it on the bottom. I oh, know. Okay. I don't call that yellow. Now can we put some over here where there's a lot of dough? That. 
That one. Hold on. See, you just got the side all like that. Oh. They do not. Now my hands are getting old. I wonder if these are real volcanic rocks. If so, that would be pretty cool. We could say we touch real volcanic rocks. Okay, here we go. On a lava. Here are volcanic rocks just for decoration. Now we need, uh, let's see. Carefully pour the baking soda through the vent. Okay, so we have baking soda here. We're going to pour it through the vent and into the bottle inside our volcano. You need this? Can I use it? <laughs> we have a funnel here. It's optional, but it's certainly helpful. And we'll pour all the baking soda into our volcano. First, I'll do a bit to see if it got in. Yep, got it. This is gonna hold up. Oh, it got it. See? Okay, hold it like this. Make sure it goes through. It's going. Okay. Okay. Oh, it's overflowing. That's huh? Cool. It's overflowing. Mm -hmm. See? It is. It is. Okay. It looks like our baking soda was overflowing. Hmm. Wait, is the bottle too small? No, that was right. Okay. It looks like maybe we're gonna have to. Okay, we can. Probably... use the whole bag. Yeah, it just is baking soda, so I'm assuming it's the whole thing, because last time it was the whole thing. Please don't say it's like the nachos. <laughs> yep, it's overflowing. I think we need to make Oh yeah, because we still need liquid. Are you sure this is the bottle? It has to be. We're, we don't have to use all of it. Okay. Yeah. I'll make it higher. Great. Use the funnel for the scoop. Okay, so we're not using all of the baking soda because still that would just be liquid. too much. And also, we still have liquid. But this is also a science experiment. Uh, I think you're putting in a bit too much, but we can. Okay, that's enough. That's enough. Come on. Come on. All right, there's still plenty of baking soda in there. Um, Seal now. Tight. Seal tight. Okay. 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 Yeah. Now we're going to pour one cup of no. We're going to pour one cup of vinegar into a cup that pours easily, yeah, but it's well. okay. Yeah. We're gonna. Oh, okay. Sorry. Yeah. You see me in front? Got it? Oh. This is just apple cider yeah. left out, right? Yeah. So here we have one cup of vinegar. I'm not smelling it because I hate the smell of vinegar. But it's apple cider vinegar. Ooh, I smelled it. Um, and then with the apple cider vinegar, well, oh no. And with the vinegar, we're going to add the food coloring tablet. Okay. Do you want to do it, brother? Mm -hmm. Into? No, into here. Oh. Okay. Make sure not to drop the cup. I mean, the, the bag. 
Okay. And as you can see, there's a little eruption thing happening here like as the, the tablet dissolves. It's, it's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. And now, uh, wait, are we going to do dish soap? Do we need a syrup? Just, just, just uh, stir the food coloring so that it dissolves? No, it didn't say to stir. But is the premise dissolved? Or? It's starting to. We should want to dissolve. Mm -hmm. uh, dish soap. Uh, how much dish soap? One tablespoon. It's like the oh, tomato. Dish soap, right? Mm -hmm. Is dish soap the thing you use to wash dishes? Yes. Then dish soap, if you eat dish soap, what happens? It shouldn't. A tornado. What happens if you eat dish soap? Because it's used to wash dishes, right? So. Right. I'll give you a little bit less than one cup at one tablespoon. Mm -hmm. You can just have one tablespoon. We don't waste it. Okay, ready? Mm -hmm. Now I'm going to add one tablespoon of dish soap. And what that's going to do is it's going to give a bubbly effect. Oh, now the plate started to get up. We're still waiting for the food coloring tablet to dissolve completely. It's getting there. It's getting there. Oh, it's starting to get lighter, so now it's starting to float. Like it. Hmm? The pill got lighter, so that's what's going to the top. Mm -hmm. I saw it go all the way up. It's pretty cool. Actually, we could use with a bit of stirring. Should we? Let me see how it is. Almost gone? Um, oh, it just went back down. Right. How about oh, do, you, do you want to read the fun fact while we're dissolving? While we're waiting for the food coloring tablet to dissolve, I'm going to read the things to think about. What is plate tectonics? The discovery that the Earth's outer crust consisted of plates led to this. I'm going to move the vinegar away. <laughs> okay. Tick, the, dis tick, tick. the discovery that Earth's outer crust consisted of plates led to the study of plate tectonics. Scientists now know that the Earth's surface consists of a number of rigid but moving plates of pieces called plates. Earth has both large and small plates, with about 12 major ones. Most volcanoes and earthquakes are formed by the movement of tectonic plates. That's all? Okay, so the pill is on this side right now. Here. Oh, it's starting to dissolve. It used to just go up and down. Yeah. So every time I shake it, it goes down and back up. And when that happens... No, put it on the table. It, it can still go up and down if you put it on the table. Does it seem like it's going to take a while? If so, I'll go grab the stick. If it's almost done, then it's just like... It's almost done. It, if As long as I keep getting it down and back up, it dissolves a little when I do that. Come on, food coloring. Just hurry up. I don't want to waste my time on this. Hmm. Do you want to just go get a stick? Let me see. It's almost done, I guess. Watch out. No, oh, just. I got it. No, that's nice almost done. We should be able to just do it now. I can't barely see it, so it's fine. I can see it when it goes down. Come on. Okay. Here it is. Let me start with the photo. Mm. Are you, do you need a funnel to pour? Mm -hmm. To pour. Well, this kind of has a tip to pour. Oh, yeah. Wait, how, how do they pour it? Do they use a funnel in the picture? No. Nope. Yeah. They did? Oh, no, they don't. Yeah, so this should be fine. They say to pour a little at a time. Yeah, so you, I, don't, I don't think you need a funnel because that, that thing is kind of. It has a little. Are you sure it thing? won't overflow? Are volcanoes coming? Did you to use some to wash it? Or? No, when I drink it. Oh, yeah. And go. Our food coloring tablet has finally dissolved. So now we're going to pour it into the volcano, which already has baking soda, a little at a time. And I just expanded the top of the volcano. So 
it, because it might just and overflow. and it's pretty common knowledge that if you add vinegar to baking soda, an explosion will happen. So, ready? Right, hold on. Uh, move, the, move the book. Move, move book. the book. Move, move the book. Okay. 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 Right. Okay. And now for the moment of truth. That doesn't have it. Yep, it's all on this side actually. It's because you poured it from that side. You need to pour it from that side if you want it to come down on this Whoa. Don't let it fall. And usually when volcanoes erupt, all the lava and stuff goes very far. And there goes the lava. I'm going to wait for all uh -oh. of it. I don't hope that the lava thing doesn't <laughs> explode on the tray if it goes to the mat. Okay, I'm going to wait for it to settle down a bit, and then I'll do a second round of explosion. Hey, move. Oh, I can start to smell apple cider. I love this one. Okay, I think you need more. so the explosion has stopped and now it's gonna go again. Start the explosion. I don't think you added enough. I think you need a bit. Hey, move it more toward that. Okay, now the clay. I think looks I need a bit more baking soda. Now the clay looks disgusting. Yeah, it stopped erupting because all the baking soda was used. I'll just add a tiny bit more. Okay. Since we're not doing anything else yeah. with this. Do you need for now or no? No, just a little. Okay, it's ready to go in. Okay, I'm gonna add the apple cider. Thing. Okay, I added some more baking soda. That's starting to explode, but I think we mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Oh, there we go. Yes. Bit more will do. Uh, it's gonna start to explode again. Yay, the eruption is starting. This is an aftershock explosion. Okay, I think we need more. Those bits. Oh, that, no, not the whole thing. Okay, so that's that's about it. What are we gonna do with the rest of this? We could pour it in there to watch it explode. <laughs> I don't know. Well, we can play. Oh, that's about it, right? I guess uh, mm -hmm. after it dries, if, to, if Bubba wants to play with okay later, we can. So we don't waste the rest of it. Mm -hmm. yeah. Right? So we're going to tell the camera. That's of this one moving okay. on to the final project. Mm -hmm. uh, what's it called? Volcanic Eruption Art. Right? And go. So that's it for this experiment the erupting volcano. We're now going to move on to the final project, which is not an experiment, it's actually an art project. It's called Volcano Eruption Art. And also they don't have things to think about. What? Yeah, they don't. <laughs> you need to pour from that side if you want it to come down on this side. Whoa. Don't let it fall. And usually when volcanoes erupt, all the lava and stuff goes very far. Start the explosion. And go. For our final project, we're going to, oh, for our final project, everything we'll need is already included in the box. We have paint, a paintbrush, half of a black construction paper, and a marble. A marble, and the box, <laughs> but it needs to be empty. Okay, so step one is to take half of the construction paper, which was already cut for us, and put it in the box. Step number, Step two. number two, 
open one paint pot and pour half of the paint onto the black paper in the box. So, which one do you want to open first? Uh, blue. Brother wants to open the blue first, so we're going to open it up. One of my favorite colors, too. Even though it's kind of purple. But I am... Oh, I see. So one paint pot has... Wait. So I think that one paint pot is already divided for us into two. Hmm. Oh, wait. Actually, I'm not sure. No, never mind. Okay, so... Here's one paint pot. Pour half into the box. Here, brother. Make sure to pour only half so you can save more for later. I'll pour it in the center. Yeah. yeah. Pour the paint in the center. You want me to do it? Yeah. I'm not really sure. It's good. Good. That might have been a bit more than half, but it's good enough. Slightly half or the color. Okay. Next, what color do you want? Yellow. Yellow. Oh no. Some paint and stripping. Paper towel. Just a little bit. Oh yeah, this is art, so it is supposed to be messy. Yellow is my, is the brightest, is my favorite brightest color in the world. And there's only... Okay, I cleaned up the blue that kind of spilled. Now yellow and then orange. Okay, because those are brother's three favorite colors. Besides red. Because they don't really look like, it's kind of like reddish orange and it's pinkish. Two more drops. Oh, that's hard. Now you need to wipe it. That's always a goal. Wipe it down. Or move on to the next page. Okay, wipe it down. Lastly, orange. Hold on. My, I think, third favorite color. Yeah, third. My three most favorite colors is red, yellow, and pink. Sometimes green, but not color. Okay, and the last color brother wants is orange. They look like glow in the dark things, paints. That's what it looks like. Okay. Okay, so so we d repeated it with a second and third color. So now we have three colors as they told us to. And we're going to put the marble in the box and tilt the box in different directions so that the marble rolls around in the box. All right. Can I put the marble away? So look, this is what we have here. Hey, don't tilt it. I think it's it's fine. Good. Okay, we have blue, yellow, orange. And brother is going to put the marble in the box. The marble is still clean, so say bye to the clean marble. Hey, they did cut the paper too oh. well for us. No, 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 don't say it. Okay. It's fine, yeah. The paper's fine. It's fine if you get the box dirty, okay? Oh, just don't do it upside down, okay? Yeah. Um, yeah. Just just okay. Wait, hold. So, here's the marble. Drop it in the box, and we're going to tilt the box in different directions so that the marble spreads paint around. Ooh, I can see 
the messiness starting. <laughs> come on, yellow, just come on, Marvel, just get to the yellow. Okay, while Brother's doing that, I'm going to read. Your eruption abstract art project is in the style of Jackson Pollock, who was an American abstract and expressionist painter. He would literally drip paint on his canvases in order to create his paintings. He was the first action painter, meaning he would drip, pour, throw, and splash his paint onto very large canvases, which were often laid flat on the floor in his New York studio. Many say he would literally dance as he created his masterpieces. Pollock is widely considered the most influential American artist of the 20th century. And now we're going to show you what our progress is so far. This was created with blue, yellow, orange paint. We can already see some green because blue and yellow, and yellow make green. green. The, I think we poured a bit too much blue and not too much orange. Try to get it to the yellow, which is the hardest color in here. It's like a marble maze. Trying to get it to the yellow. And it needs to get to this side, you marble. Wait, sit this down a little bit so we can see what you your face. I need it to go to the orange and blue and get to this side so the paint can spread. There we go. So what's the thing about the, the brush? What do you do with the brush? Uh, dip your paintbrush in paint and drip it onto the paper. Try lightly tapping your paintbrush against the side of the box so that the paint splatters on the paper. Which technique works better? Nah, it's fine. We're already doing it. Uh, it's just using the paintbrush. Wait, so you, well, they did give us a paintbrush. Oh. So you take it and then you drip Dip, it. dip uh -huh. it in paint and drip it onto the paper by tapping it. Tapping the paint, paintbrush? Yeah, like the side of the paintbrush so that the paint drips down. Because look, there's just three clumps of things here. Mm. Do we? Yeah, let's just do it with a paintbrush instead of this. Uh, do, do you want to have some different colors to put in the paintbrush? Or just one other color? Yeah, maybe just one other color. Because it works well, contaminate the paintbrush with other. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we'll pick another color that and we'll just do the next Which step. color? So uh, turn the camera. And Red? Huh. Hey, pause it. Oh, just. Come on, Marvel. Just get to the yellow. Okay, while Brother's doing that, I'm going to read. Your eruption abstract art project is in the style of Jackson Pollock, who was an American abstract and expressionist painter. He would literally drip paint on his canvases in order to create his paintings. He was the first action painter, meaning he would drip, pour, throw, and splash his paint onto very large canvases, which were often laid flat on the floor in his New York studio. Many say he would literally dance as he created his masterpieces. Pollock is widely considered the most influential American artist of the 20th century. And now we're going to show you what our progress is so far. Reddish pink is blue. Alright, tell the camera about the next step and Action. go. And finally, for the fourth step, no, we're actually. going to... They warn you this is extra messy. Dip the paintbrush in paint and drip it onto no, the paper. No, I actually want to. Okay, this. brother wants red. So I'm going to dip the paintbrush into the red paint. Yeah, my favorite color. And then can I roll the marble? And then, put it over no, 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 no. And then we're going to tap it against the side of the box so it drips onto the paper. Okay, we'll show you. Like this. Oops. Hold it there, brother. Extra messy. Make sure your mouth is closed, brother. Seriously. This is a terrible idea. It isn't adding any paint. Is it not enough paint? Hmm. Maybe uh, some more? Oh, my favorite color is pink. Oh yeah, red and orange paint. 
um, yellow and red make orange. It's so. tap on some this side too. Yeah, I mean the other side. You want to dip some more? Dip a little bit more? No, that's enough. No. It I dripped kind of all over. I no, oh, I'll pick up some of this that won't, like some of these. Because they're no, in no, clumps. Oh, for the blue? The blue, the yellow, the orange. Hey, I wanted to move the marble. There. Okay. Oh, uh, that's enough. Yeah. All right, so, uh, so you can tell, uh, talk about which method was better. Okay. So we have kind of made the area a bit messy from splattering paint, but they did warn us that it would be extra messy. Uh, which method works better? I think that I like the non-paintbrush method better, but it's really up to you. If you don't mind getting the area messy, then they're both good in their own ways. I think when you use the paintbrush, it looks a bit prettier. Yeah, but this marble thing won't listen. It's just, it's just going to the blue and orange. No yellow's coming. Really? Because there's a big hump over there. A marble maze. Extra messy. All right, so just show the final art and then and we can do final thoughts. How do we even pick this product thing up? Well, I can even see some purple even though we didn't add it. Do on the blue, you added the most on the blue and put them on the orange, on the left side of the orange. Okay, so now I'm going in and using the marble to pick up some paint. Uh, that was a mess. Extra messy. Yep, extra messy if you do that too. Show the final art and the final box. Ready? Then remind people to subscribe so they can order it. Okay. Move the box. Ready? Mm -hmm. This is our final piece of artwork. So after It could be better because there's still a clump of orange, blue, and yellow. But I see how this can look really cool when you just use marble to roll it around. It's actually quite fun, right? Yeah, I've done it before. Okay, so I don't know. Hey, Should you're I... ripping oh, the paper yeah, yeah, yeah. over yeah. there. Right. Oh, right. oops, sorry. Right. I'm going to pull it away. Uh, put that inside the box. Okay. And go. So that is our review of Green no, Kid. Oh, oh, yeah. Boxing? Okay. Or demoing? Or All right, go. So that is our unboxing of Green Kid's Crafts. <laughs> you can still hear the marble rolling around. We... It's making more art. Yeah, it's still making oh. art. Okay, anyways, uh, Brother, what was your favorite project? I think it's this one, the box one. Why? I just like rolling the marble around with the paint. I've done that before. That okay, one. so the fourth project, the volcan volcanic eruption art, was Brother's favorite. Mine was maybe the erupting volcano because even though I've done baking soda and vinegar before, uh, you get to add food coloring and you get to make your own volcano uh, so that you can watch it erupt and it looks more cool that way. Also, they provided volcanic rocks, which I thought was a very nice decoration. What are you doing? Okay, uh, All right, then. Sorry. Mm -hmm. I got <laughs> Overall, I think that Green Kids Craft is a is an. Yeah, and I also mentioned how you like it's eco friendly. Okay. Overall, Green Kids Craft is a very fun eco friendly box that. Uh, overall, Green Kids Craft is a very fun and eco friendly box that. Uh, oh, provides hours of fun, fun and education. Overall, Green Kids Crafts is a very fun and eco-friendly box that can... Improvise? Oh, oh. Overall, Green Kids...
Science Crafts is a very fun, educational, and eco-friendly box. And once again, you can purchase this at the link in the description. Bye bye. It's us 24 hours from now, and we are going to check on our crystal growing kit. Kids. Oh no, it got stuck. Uh oh. Oh, here we go. Whoa, uh oh. Oh, <laughs> it's stuck. It's stuck to a. There's two more. Whoa. I think we can't pull it out because it's stuck to borax, like crystally borax. It does look cool though. It looks like a sea star, like a crystallized sea star. Is this star. supposed to happen or oh, did it touch the bottom? I say, uh, just say, oh, pause while we empty out the water or something and then it just stay there. Pause while we empty out the water. All right, and then go. So I think what happened was we did Oh, it's a turn so that we see the star as a whole. Yeah. All right, and go. So I think what happened was uh, we didn't make sure that it wasn't touching the bottom. Since- Was it, the star. Oh yeah. So I think what happened was we so I think what happened was that the star was touching the bottom and it wasn't supposed to because something like this would happen. Whoa. Let me see. Actually, in a way, this does look cool, but like it's attached to the sea floor. <laughs> sea yeah, star imagine it as a sea star. But yeah. It's uh, going to go. Overall, I don't think that the food coloring did its thing because the pipe cleaner was red to start with and nothing really happened to the pipe cleaner except it got crystallized. Same thing with the yarn. But otherwise it does look pretty cool. And I don't know, in a way it's kind of funny that it got stuck to this thing. So how are we gonna get this thing out? Uh, we destroy well, it? Yeah, we're just gonna have to yank it out. Okay, anyways. Oh wait, how do I say back to... Uh, back to us from yesterday. Okay. Okay. Okay, anyways, back to us from yesterday. Ready? Up. Set and... There is... Not slowed. enough. Not enough for Jesus. No, I just like a little at the top. It looks better when it's a big explosion. Okay, fine. I'll put the rest of the baking soda. Oh, wait, hold on. But the jar, the tray's almost on the floor. Uh -oh. Do you want to pour it? Uh, okay. Cool now, thing. another option is to just pour the baking soda in that cup of vinegar. <laughs> no, then it's going to overflow. We don't have anything to catch it with. Oh, yeah. What if we just pour baking soda in there? What would happen? Just a little bit. Huh? Uh, don't. But don't yell at me if I make it. Do you want to just pour half of what's there? That's good. That's good. That's in there. Oh, Mama should see the explosion. You want Mama to see? Yeah, sure. Mama! Mama! Mama I just... wants you to see the explosion! So I guess we don't need the stick. It's just the string. Ready, Mama? Whoa! Moo! 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 No! And pour the rest of the. Uh oh, it might overflow. Not again. Uh oh! Uh oh! Uh oh! Uh oh! It's overflowing! Okay, Moo! Marry Mama! Oh, feel there's a ridge. Well, I'll never My do. Mine, mine, Molly. Um, Wait, what did we do again? It's just a show. Show it. Just when we, we, you know, we chisel it out or whatever. All right, and go. Hi, 
Hi, it's us again, 25 hours in the future. We managed to chisel out the sea star from the base of borax. Uh, so now it's a part and it looks like this. This almost looks like it could be sea salt on a sea star. Uh, sea su star, yeah, star. This almost looks like it could be sea salt on a sea star. It's or pretty cool. Or starfish. So good thing we managed to get out of the jar. Anyway, sorry to bother you again. We're going to have to send you back to 25 hours ago.